Riffy and I built one of the most outrageously cool duo base designs in Rust. 16 stories high from the bottom of the seafloor, towering over territory of the large oil rig. Understandably, we draw some attention from some of the larger clans on this weekly server. Alrighty. What's going on, everybody? Today we're playing a duo wipe with my man Riffy. Who I think is going to be under the alias of Le Salmon Man still. But yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen. We've got a, uh, a pretty crazy base design plan for this wipe. So let's not waste any time. Let's get him in the party. And let's get started. Alright, I am. C9. Sweet. I was thinking we put a starter base down like near large fishing village kind of way. Or like yep. near, near mining outposts actually, like F-17. Yep. That's pretty much where I am now, so. <laughs> so I, I think like, I would assume that all the blueprints wiped, but I guess we don't know for definite. We we'll probably know in an hour or so if there's anyone running around with yeah. AKs. Tommy. We've actually got a pretty sweet uh, bunker base, like um, starter. Nice. Do something. Yeah. Snagged a green card from Lighthouse. Pause. <laughs> hey, mate. Hey, mate. How you doing? You look hideous. <laughs> yeah. We did a quick farm and put down a starter base, not too far from where our main base would go, close to the large oil rig. We figured there wouldn't be much competition down this way, as the only decent monument was airfield, so we might be able to control it to gather a lot of scrap quickly, not to mention the red cards that we'd need for oil rig. The plan after getting the base down would be to run the airfield monument like clockwork and fit in some farming, recycling, and base upgrades in between. I'll come down. I'll just bring the tarp. Yeah. Recycle the cloth. Yeah. Can you um, build a little jump up as well? I already have. So we could do, um, I'll bring a couple fuses so that we can do blue card on the way back as well if we get enough rads protection. You got a weapon? You got a bow or something? Uh, no I don't. Yeah, you should make one. Let's see if I can make one. Yeah, getting a rad suit's gonna be pretty good because there shouldn't be too many people running airfield. Uh. Four shots then. Got it. Wow, that was easy with the crossbow. I mean the crosshair. Fuck. Get wrecked. We farmed some barrels and took the comps over to outpost to recycle. Cooked up some low grade and also bought a jackhammer. The base we were building this wipe was going to be expensive to say the least, and we wanted to take advantage of the farm in our area before other players had a chance to settle in. Should we tell you, like, they were wiping? Yeah. No. I'll see you in the pump. Can I grab that axe actually? I'll hit a few trees just to get the furnaces filled up. Got a feeling that satellites can be done regularly for blue cards. Yeah, especially with with a uh, water treatment right next to it. No, it's good. Nice. Hell yeah! Let's get out of here. Yep, go for it. 
Ach, das heißt Mittag. Scheint so. Yeah. <lacht> nice. First red card acquired. Not camped. Even better. We can do it in like half an hour, maybe. Just run it every half hour. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, let's hit an arrow. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Just run. Yep. Oh, I got fucking slugged. You did? He slugged me. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I got 17 hours. I should depot, man. I got cards. Yeah, not deeper. That's fine. Oh, just dodge that. That's a double barrel. Yes. There's, there's three of them. Depot, okay. depot. Yeah, just keep running. Depot, dude, depot. Just like that, we became a raid target. And I'm full of farm. <laughs> Much. Third one. Sweet. Let's get out of here. I could. <laughs> Garage door, baby. Door, baby. So good. That's so far down on the tech tree, it's insane. Yeah, I know. Go get that home. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can see this rib. Rib? Rib is pulling in. To where? To, like, opposite no, no, no. side of the water. I think it's probably not worth trying to fight. I can't see how many there are, but... One, two, three, two, four, three, five. Four, five. Okay. Dude. Back inside. <laughs> So we're just going to use this base as a starter, yeah? Yep. So uh, probably, maybe we just like, not upgrade it too much. Then we'll just bigger just... base, where that? Where are we going to do our actual base? Oh, I was like thinking as close to a rig as possible. Yep. But it should be that way. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Sadly, I had to head out to work for the day, and Riffy would have to head off as well a bit later into the morning. We'd fortified the base enough that we were pretty confident it would survive the day. Once we were both online later that day, we'd aim to start the foundations of our main base. I'm talking foundations like you've never seen before. Foundations that we didn't realize at this point would be almost impossible to maintain upkeep for. All right, it's been a few hours since I logged off. I'm actually home uh, a lot earlier than what I, what I planned to be. So we should be all good. I'd be very surprised if we're, if we're raided. Hell yeah. And uh, the plan's gonna be to pretty much do a bunch of farming. And we're gonna turn this starter base hopefully into a compound as well. So it's kind of like a 
a big ass <laughs> big ass database but the the plan there being that we can get some large furnaces down so that we can smelt up a bunch of metal for the main base which is going to go over here somewhere hopefully because we're going we're to need a lot of metal for that base and because it's going to be a water base we're not going to be able to have large furnaces so that's why we're going to aim to get a a bit of a compound down here at the starter and that is so close to shore compared to where it normally is it's like the perfect map for this base design <laughs> Can't wait. I think what we're going to do is we'll wait for Riffy to get back on before we start putting down the main base. So I'm just going to farm up, get the uh, the starter base compound down. And then when Riff gets back on, we can go and find a spot to put down main. It's a big old farm run. Wow, that is it's bright. Ow, my eyes. Let me do a little wood farm. Get these furnaces going again. I really should keep them going like all day. Get a mic, dude. That's a fair bit of fair bit of farm. Sorry boys. Had to do it to you. I can give the base back, but the only problem then is that I've got some salty a salty at least two man right next to me. But we'll leave like a tiny bit so it doesn't decay just in case those dudes come back. Yeah, that's that's pretty sad times, I'm not gonna lie. It is the chunkiest starter base I've ever seen in my life. Kind of silly, really, when you think about it. <laughs> Over the next couple of hours, I looted airfield, farmed, farmed some more, and even farmed a bit more after that. Waiting patiently for Riffy to jump back on, so we could put down our epic main base, which would stem from the depths of the ocean and rise up to overlook the large oil rig. When Riffy finally joined, he changed his alias to... El Banjo? Ah, you flipped the garage already. Good idea. 
Yeah, just the wood box is up. Token. Yeah, I know. When I left, I was like, eh, he'll change it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's nothing really good in the front ones anyway, so. Yeah, I think we have a small box of red cards. Yeah, I saw that. Just got a satchel from a crate. Hey. Let's double headshot some dude, he's not dead. How the f- Okay. I think one of those headshots didn't register maybe. Nonetheless, I filled him in on my adventures over the past few hours, and we didn't want to waste any time in scouting out our location to put down the main base. If we built right on the line of A14, I feel like we could almost snipe the scientists from, from our base. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you can see your boats going past. Oh uh, yeah. We gotta get a bunch of HV rockets and launches. Along my travels throughout the day, I'd also managed to score a couple of supply drops from airfield, so we decided to throw them down first. This could be huge, as we started this wipe with no blueprints, and we yet to acquire a tier 2 weapon. And what safer way to call in a supply signal, than in the middle of the ocean, equipped with scuba kits and a jackhammer for scuba PvP. Two customs. C4. C4. <laughs> M39. Kit. We got customs decent, like we got two customs. That's all we need really to be able to do rig. Riffy had noticed that someone had called in the heavies at large rig, but the crate still hadn't been looted, and it had been at least half an hour, so we thought we'd head over and check it out. Have they taken the crate yet? Uh, I still haven't taken it. That's a bit like way longer than 15 minutes, unless it died. Can we have a look? Yeah, let's go have a look. I think we're just gonna have to crash it, like, blood brew hop. Yeah. Can you hear a tummy? Can you hear a tummy? Yeah, shoot it. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave the low grade in the boat. Yeah. What's the grip? He's a little bit scientist there. Here we're coming. It's a scientist right here. Oh. I think I thought that was a scientist that I heard. Do you reckon it was definitely a tummy that you heard? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. Alright. Because I can definitely I hear a scientist up here. You can definitely, there's definitely a couple of scientists. Jesus. Let's get the shit out of me. Another scientist coming from your left. Hey, aggro ads. I think they took red, hey. They haven't even done red card. We gotta go back and get red card. But I swear it must have been the other Chinook, like... Must have been. I didn't look at it like I did now. Because I saw it, yeah. Alright, should we, we should go back. Get red card. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Whoop. Oh. 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 Eh. Eh. What the f... <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm a doors, alright. Are you ready? Oh, good, yep. Run! Oh, no. No chance. You're dead. Yeah. Fuck. They, yeah. Did that land, like, super fast? Yeah, you're doing some work up
Oh, dude, four times on a Tommy, on a heavy? That's you, right? Hey, no, I'm not. Okay. And so, someone's just pulled up. Oh. It's Tommy. Should I just jump in the water and swim away, or what? Use your grenades. Hold up, hold up. Die, dude. I'm dead. Ah, that loss kinda sucked. But not long after, we saw that Heli had been taken not too far from our base. This would be the perfect opportunity to get back some of our losses. Behind us too. Hard and shoot. That's it. Cover. I mean, who's dip I got? Oh yeah, should we just dip I got M39 with the four times. Despite our best intentions, it was getting late for us, so putting down the main base would have to wait until the morning. We fortified the extravagant starter base and logged off for the night. Okay, this is the beginning of day two. rufi has been on already this morning. He said we were not raided like an hour ago. We gotta board this man. We're gonna get counted otherwise. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> oh, man. We're very close to bailing right now. We gotta go, man. Let's um loot the rest of the heavies. Get out of here. Oh Lee. What? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. What the hell? They died to the heavies? Let's get out of here. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, I was gonna, like... I was thinking that there was a few heavies dead at the landing. That's crazy. Ah, uh, what? That's a fucking big hole. Got the L96. Oh. Man, they're the guys that killed me last night as well. 
makes me very happy. This was a huge win. The duo who'd killed me while waiting for the lock crate at rig yesterday clearly had their troubles fighting the heavy scientists. And I just happened to swoop in as they were trying to come back to regain their losses. I'd made it away with a bunch of high tier loot, including the L96 sniper rifle. Soon after that, Riffy jumped back on, and we finally got to starting the main base build. The foundations were finally down, and Riffy spawned back at the starter base to bring over a full inventory of stone. I know you're floating. <laughs> you're floating up to the surface. I like flipping all of the things like a ragdoll as you go up. <laughs> it was a long way to come up. <laughs> a lot longer than it was. What I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, I'm getting shot. TC is down. A couple of boats in this base, but I do not want to risk taking them. I found out they got me. Oh man, it's so sick looking out and seeing <laughs> all your rig, rig right outside. That's actually so cool. Probably just needed it to be like 10 levels shallower. Coming in hot. After that, we yeah. had to do 16 stories worth of honeycomb. How many levels have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've, that's pretty much half. What's the upkeep? <laughs> Do you want to know? 8... No, 8k. That's bad. It's not that bad, really. That's actually not bad at all. It's that's, probably going to end up... last base was. Yeah. I reckon it's going to end up like... 20k of each, probably. 14. 20k. Metal, 20k stone. That's a fair day stuff, mate. Should get bags down here too, ASAP. Oh, and I was thinking it would be like a wraparound, so depending because you know, the cheapest way to raid this is going to be doors so yep. if you come in that side then you wrap around to this entrance and, if, and vice versa yeah oh, i do have a coming there whoops oh bro <laughs> so good have you been outside on the second level <laughs> no not yet it's <laughs> so good we were able to finish the layer of honeycomb, which added a pretty awesome feature to this base. Uh, is it low grade in there? Yeah, there should be. Uh, do you want any other? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, dang. Uh, the drama reversed it in. But it also very quickly invited some unwanted oh, attention. Oh, there's a, yeah, there's yeah, a boat coming.
the map. Yeah. No, there's definitely still there. I'm just standing on it. Oh man, if you had the L9, that'd be so good. Can you actually bring it? Bring it. Bring the L9 and the M39. Vending machine spot, it's all armored. When morning came, we decided to start taking advantage of our base location and headed over to take the large oil rig. I say we do the little trick where you leave the bottom side to slow. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, nice. Back. Be explosive. We'd use the next few hours to take oil over and over, which made us pretty loaded. The only thing holding us back at the moment was the outrageous upkeep that this base turned out to require. Between a two man, almost 20k stone and metal was a decent task, especially since we'd planned to find someone to raid later on that evening. Shortly after though, we'd seen cargo spawn, so we couldn't help but head over. Do you want to try and do cargo? I mean... I do want to do cargo, yeah. It's coming. Oh, it's out now. Damn, damn, cloth, that's her. I got 60. I killed him? Maybe? I'm not sure. Is so first, first crate's probably only got a couple minutes on it, because the second one's got six minutes. Yeah, the third one's very close behind that. Yeah, I know. Alright, uh, we, got, we got a counter, counter. Coming from land side, rib. Can I shoot him now? Wait until he's trying to board, I think. Looks like they're going, uh. My side. Yeah. Did ah, they get in the water? Angle. Oh, one's up, one's up. He's running down near you. Coming down north in the middle, I'm coming through in the middle. Oh, behind me. Ah, oh, fuck. Trying 
dip. Fuck, dude, I'm gonna die from reds. Fuck. Just waiting below the boat. What? Uh, someone literally door camped me at our base. Three of them. What did they have? Oh, I had a revy, but I sat down and was loading up the fuel. Backed up. I can't believe we just got door camped. Well, I might be able to kill him. One's dead. Nice. I'm on a bag timer. They're going back towards base. Oh, we don't have any guns there, do we? No. Keep going to your left a tiny bit. And stop. Would it be? Oh yes, got it all. Can you come to me? We need, we need you to pick it up. Oh man, that was shit. Tommy, SMG buddies, high quality. <laughs> What's that? Smoke. Smoke us out. It's not bad. No bad strap. Oh, is that a boat over there to the left? It is got people on it as well. Let's see okay. this. Five pokies. Tag one. He's back with the They're bailing. Can't see it. Yeah, the truck's bailing. Hit him again. It's a lot closer. Ready? Uh, over at Northwest 320. I think they are swimming. Uh, should we depot? Get a scuba kit with the jacket. Yeah. These guys eventually got away from us and led us straight back to their base, which was a stone compound just off the coastline directly to the west of our rig base. Surely they got in the base. Riffy had to jump off for a couple hours, but as you might have seen, we'd built up a decent amount of boom and decided that they'd be the perfect raid target, an online duo who'd also been running rig. While Riffy was off, I went out for a big farm run for upkeep and also to add to our raiding supplies. Fuck me, dude.
Good. Fuck's sake, dude. me dude Meds. Where's my where's the cloth go? There's like five out there. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We have to peek up here just to see how deep they are. Shit, so they're not even up here. That's good, that's good. Okay. They got my only... My bed died! Oh my god! No, dude. That's it. That's a rip. Oh, I think they've got scuba dudes. I think they've got scuba dudes. Which is gonna make it... Very hard to, uh... Get in, but if I can get in... From the, uh, beach entr- From the, uh, yeah, beach side entrance garage door I might be able to get back up get a bag down I mean I slowed them down a bit by repairing the wall but they just they're just getting more boom I think at the moment no we should have raided last night such a rookie error not having a bag in core that's it there's the C4 Yep, there is no cloth, which has absolutely fucked us because I can't make a bag. So now they're coming through the floor. 
on the roof, I guess. Are we good in there? So they're gonna get here. And I need to be able to get a door on there. I can't make anything else really. I can move shit like downstairs. I can't even heal up now. I should have peaked a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna stay alive now, that's like the main thing here. Oh, I wish I had a bag. I'd be playing a little bit more like aggressively here if I had a bag, but I don't. Dude, if they get through that garage door, they're just gonna get all that loot in that loot room. Fuck. I could put the tier 3 there. That's the only thing I can think of that's gonna slow them down. I can see that you're talking, but I can't hear what you're saying for some reason. Yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> hey, I can't hear you talking in game for some reason. Oh, I, can, I, I can just see that you're talking. Fuck. Sorry for raiding your base, bro. Ah, oh, it's so good. That's so good, bros. It's all good. It's a sturdy thing, isn't she? Confused oh. the fuck out of my old team. <laughs> GG, mate. Good have luck. A, have good. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, bro. You <laughs> too. Later, bro. Right. Later. <laughs> the lead. I can't put that there, I don't think. As soon as I die here, that's it. It's over. So, with literally one health, no heals, and no respawn point, fighting against a 5 plus man group, you'd agree that things were looking pretty grim for me. Surely there was something I could do to hold off the raiders, but I was having a hard time thinking straight. <laughs> if you've soloed an online raid defense before, you know how it is. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we get the smokes out, and we're gonna try and get, we're gonna try and get a get armored door on after they blow it. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to keep my base. Riffy, come home. Doesn't even matter. I'm wearing, I shouldn't. I should be naked. I 
thing. I'm looking at the door. Oh, that killed me. Somehow. Rip. Rip. Rip into pieces. Oh man, that is very sad. I wish I was there a little bit. Like, I wish I was there as they came over. And that bag thing just completely fucked us over. What are they going through now? Man, I've just been online at the base. Could have changed everything. Could have like got to the roof. Actually try to defend a little bit. Instead I was trapped in the base without a bag and without any cloth. How can they like low on boom? It's me opening doors, yeah. I mean, it was always gonna happen, wasn't it? Yeah, but just like, uh, it was, it's been a bad run. Mm. I um, yeah, it has. went for a farm run to get upkeep. Yeah. And uh, as that happened, I got killed. And then as I was. As I spawned back to base here, they had started yeah. raiding. Oh, shit. So I was like, I didn't even get time to like prepare anything. Who are they? Yeah, I don't know. So they may not get too well the boom, essentially. Uh, they've got most of the boom, but I have like 2C4 and two rows of GP on me right now. I, I just kept moving it, like, depending on where they'd go. I was just yeah. like moving it away from them. I'm so I'm I'm in the water, like down the bottom in the shallow water with those two drop boxes. That's where I am currently going to. Oh my god. I used to be so young and free. But now Later on, these guys invited me to their party, their eight-man party, but they were decent lads and we had a laugh, mainly at our expense, but that's cool. I guess things don't always go your way in Rust, but even though we'd lost the raid, our base, and all of our explosives, Riffy and I still had a great time building a fun and unique base on the water at the doorstep of Oil Rig. So naturally, we called it for the wipe, and look forward to our future adventures. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Take it easy everyone, I'll see you soon.